another up close video. Today's one is for Tonic Showcase number 33, which is the Heart and Hexagon Split Boxes. So I'm not sure if you're going to get yours in two A5 sets like this or whether you're going to get it in one A4 set together. But this half of the die set creates the heart split box and this half creates the hexagon split box. They're really simple kind of boxes to put together but I think they're really impactful kind of boxes. Like people are going to wonder, oh how on earth did you figure out how to create that kind of a box? Um, I think they're really clever design. I was saying in my tutorial video... Um, a while back, I can't remember what die set it was, but one of the die sets that Tonic had done, um, after I'd been making it, I was thinking, I wonder if they could make some kind of box like this that splits open. And I was thinking it could be a ladybird um, and you'd have like the headpiece and then the wings would like split open. Um, and lo and behold, Tonic now have brought out a, a box like this. So it literally like opens like this um, and you've got this box inside it. And isn't that weird that I'd looked at a die set and thought of some kind of box like this. So obviously whoever designed it probably had that in their mind to create something like this um because tonic works so ahead of the time they you know this probably was already in production um at that point um but it's a really cool design concept for a box you've got this hexagon version um which actually now i'm opening that it reminds me of that um roll of bubble gum you used to be able to get that was like um, a circular box and then you had like a bigger roll of bubble gum in it but I was saying in the tutorial video it could be a Pac-Man it could be a baby bell cheese if you know someone who's obsessed with them you can make the outside red the inside a creamy colour maybe even print off a label to go on the top of it um, you could turn it into some kind of like biscuit and have like a filling running around the edge of it as well any sort of like circular or, or hexagonal kind of design you could really adapt this and turn it into something else and the idea is that the box splits in half and then you still have this box inside that can come out so this could house your actual gift you could just create this and put your gift inside it as well um, there's different ways of sort of being able to create this but you might have noticed as I've been playing with this one um, I decided to decorate this one to look a little bit like a watermelon um, because I thought I wonder you know like what kind of thing is in a slice kind of form and I thought a watermelon would work quite well so I decided to do the outside green and then the inside with the pink watermelon I just drew some black pips on the inside and I thought it worked quite nicely um, and I've done the just because sentiment on the outside so that's like a watermelon version and um, then I've also done this kind of rusty sort of version and then you've got the heart box as well I'll open all of these and show you them in more detail later on in the video but I wanted to show you the basic concept of of how they kind of go together and the heart one um, opens and the heart falls out as well. So really, really cool concept of boxes. So they are pretty simple to put together. So first of all, let's go through the heart box. So these are all of the dies that you're getting in this die set. There's a lot of... Um, well, there's two hearts in this one, whereas you only see one hexagon in this one, and that's because a heart needs the two-handedness for each side of it, whereas a hexagon is the same on both sides if you split it directly down the middle. Um, so for the hearts in here, there's some great elements for your card making, and I will show you some cards later on. I've got four to share with you, and I do a shaker card in the tutorial video. Um, but the way they've done these hearts is you have um, one heart is slightly bigger than the other heart. The one that's split in half is just slightly bigger than the solid heart. Um, and that's because this creates the outer sort of area that the smaller inner heart fits into so they will actually fit inside each other you need them to be slightly different sizes and this one is split in half because you use these pieces to create the top and bottom of the box that flips in half like this um, but this one is whole because it is a whole heart shaped box that goes inside of the box as well so you do get everything um, told to you in the instructions so in maybe instead of confusing um, everything I might just like quickly run through what you need to put them together basically the solid heart you use the side that only has the glue tabs on one side because that is just going to be a box that goes inside it but where you have the half hearts you're using the one that has the glue tabs on both sides because you want to put half a heart on the top and half a heart on the bottom to create that whole half side of a heart I don't know if I explained that very well at all but the instructions um, do say exactly how 
it's all supposed to go together. And this is why I say start with the hexagon, because I feel like the hexagon would um, make it much easier for you to figure out how the heart works. Because the heart is two different directions, I feel like the hexagon is much simpler to work out. Um, but those are like the main panel pieces to create the heart box. And then for the decoration, you have um, different panels. So you've got one that's got a pierced detail and one that's got a just a straight edge. And they're both exactly the same size and can be interchanged between however you're decorating them. And then you have this sort of like, almost like a lattice with double hearts inside it, which is really pretty. I really like that design. And then this one is the alternative design. This kind of makes a flower in the centre you've got like two half flowers on here uh, with some gorgeous flourishy pieces and like some foliage poking out of there as well so two really pretty designs and you get the matching designs to go around the outside edge of the heart and this can go around the outside edge of the outside or the outside edge of the inside heart as well you can decorate both of them with these panels um, again you've got the plain edge one and the um, pierced edged one this one is that beautiful lattice design that coordinates with this and this one is that same kind of floral design with the flower in the centre that matches this one um, you also have on this one a padlock, so you've got a heart-shaped padlock um, that you could have hanging off as like a gift tag, you could just use the heart decoration in the interior to be a sentiment, you've got uh, for you as the sentiment to go in, no it doesn't, it says love you, not for you, um, as a sentiment to go inside there that you could just use on top of your box, or you can just stick the padlock on top of the box as well, you could put it in the centre if you wanted to and just stick it on one side so that it's still opened nicely, you've also got a key to go with the padlock so a beautiful little decorative key as well even has almost like a little debossing heart in there too and then this portion is a lock mechanism I will show you that um, when I um, undo this box here I'll show you how that lock mechanism works but basically this piece folds up and sits on top of here where these two half circles are it fits up and down there and then this is the latch on the other side which this piece will slot into and then you can put some ribbon or twine through the holes on this one to keep it shut so that is the heart box and then we also have the hexagon split box as well. Now, although I said the hexagon is simpler, it has more die cutting involved because with a heart, um, you just need two sides because this goes all the way around one half of the heart. Whereas with a hexagon, because a hexagon's got six sides, this one they've only been able to give you two panels joined together. So you're going to have to cut three of those. And this one they've been able to give you three panels joined together. So you'll need to cut two of those. And because a hexagon is symmetrical when it's cut down the centre, they've only given you half the box. So whereas with the heart, you cut this one heart and you got both panels. With this one, you're going to have to do twice as much die cutting to get your panels for these pieces out. But it, it's not too much. I mean, uh, you do need eight, I think, for a box. Um, but when you're die cutting all of the other panels as well, um, you know, you just keep putting one of these on the plate every time you're die cutting all of the other pieces and you, in no time you've got them all cut out. Um, but you do need double the amount um, when you're working with this because you do only get the one of them. Um, and so this piece plus these pieces here, the two that are together, that creates your outside box. And the reason why I think they've done it as a two-piece is because then the hinge is really strong. Because if you imagine, there's two going around this side of the box. This is the opening. There's two going around this side. And when you get to put the next one here, this one is going to join onto the other side of the hexagon. So the actual fold is going to be a really nice, strong join where the card is just folding. Whereas on the heart one, you just have the little glue tab holding them together. So... I mean, I guess that's why maybe it tells you to cut a third one of these in case you what you wanted to strengthen that join. But I do find it was just fine just with the two of those. Um, but yeah, that is how to create the outside edges of the hexagon. And then for the inside, it's literally just that box. So you're using the solid hexagon die plus two of these three panel ones. And that creates the box on the inside of the hexagon. So you, if you ever just want a small little hexagon box without a lid or a small little heart box without a lid, you've got those elements to create those as well. So those are those pieces. Then we've also got um, decorative panels to go on all of these as well and because hexagons are symmetrical you've got more options with your decorations because um, 
you can use the same panel on both sides of the hexagon rather than having to have the opposite side for the heart. So you've got this beautiful like rainbow-ish kind of design where there's all, all these sort of like rainbows or it could be like um, running a trowel through um, plaster on the wall or something. Um, it kind of looks like that sort of thing. And you've got ones that match all three of them in that design. You've also got matching outside edges. So you've got a straight edge for the half hexagon and you've got the straight edge for the larger side and the straight edge for the smaller side and then you also have the um the pierced edge for those two sides as well i'm not sure why you don't get a pierced edge for the half a hexagon um maybe you do and mine's just missing i'm not sure um but yeah you also have the option for the pierced ones on those two portions of the hexagons as well um so you've got that one design then you also have um this design which is kind of like a, a floral baroque kind of design with gorgeous like swirls you have the design to go in the smaller rectangle and the design to go in the larger rectangle as well for those then you also have this final design which is a really geometric design and the reason why you have two of them here is because it goes up one way um so if they'd just given you one of them, one side would look one way up and one side would look the other way up. But they've actually thought about it and given you both sides. And this one actually has a notch missing because of the um, mechanism that you can use as a closure for this box. This little mechanism here, you stick one on each side and then put the two holes together and tie your um, ribbon or twine through it. And I'll show you that on one of my finished boxes as well. Um, so those are all of the decorative kind of elements you also have this one here that says just because which you could also use as a side panel but you can also put it inside this little gift tag that's here as well it's got a little bit of stitching and a long hole so you can use a wider ribbon to attach your gift tag if you want to then you also have this smaller long gift tag um, that one says surprise that's in there and this one says for you but you don't have to just use them in this tag you also get a rectangle and both of them will fit and be able to be cut out with a rectangle rather than just the tag end as well so you've got versatility in that too and um, you can mix and match the lock mechanisms and obviously you can put some of the gift tags on the heart one or you could put the heart padlock on the hexagon one as well they will mix and match with each other if you wanted to I guess you could even use um, some of these pieces on here and maybe even use some of these side panels on here if you um, scored them and bent them around the hexagon you might even be able to get that to work as well to mix and match the patterns too but those are all of the dies in the two die sets so I'll move those off to the side then these are the three boxes that I have created with the die set so you already saw this one that I turned into like a watermelon looking box and I did actually decorate the bottom of this as well so it kind I just thought this kind of design looked a little bit like it could be a quirky rind design of the watermelon um, so I thought it would go quite nicely and um, I just used appropriate colours to kind of make it look like a pastel sort of watermelon kind of design this is sea salt pistachio and bubblegum pink i think um to do that and a little bit of the narrow three millimeter white ribbon that tonic do as well then um these two i've got the locking mechanisms on so for the heart one i decided to just loop a bit of twine through the locking mechanism so it was easier for the recipient they didn't have to like feel like they've got to tie a bow again once they've opened it um but you do need to remove this bit of twine to be able to then get it open um if you had like one of those tiny little padlocks that you get in crackers um you could put that a real little padlock on there if you wanted to as well but this is how this mechanism works you stick that larger piece on this side with or you can do it the other way around as well but you stick the larger piece on one side you put that piece with the hole in you bend it up and you put it across there like so and then this piece sticks on the other side and will bend round to join over that and then you can put your twine or your ribbon or real padlock through that little hole to keep it shut and on my one, I did actually double this up. So I stuck one on the inside and one on the outside just to make sure that was going to be really firm on there. Um, and then you open this up and the heart comes out as well. I also put some keys on the inside of this one. You've got red on red for the design around the side as well. Um, I really like that design. It's really pretty. Um, and I thought it looked really nice being red on red. And I've put the keys on the inside just to decorate it and you can see how nicely it slots back inside um, and the box then closes you can either sort of open one side or sometimes when you open it the heart almost like falls out 
it will just about fall out of there. Um, but yeah, such a beautiful little box. I think it's so um, unique and different to what other things that have been out on the market or that Tonic have done before. I think just like the action of having a smaller box inside the larger box it's a really cool idea um, and there's so many ways that you can decorate them this one I've just done the little padlock with a tiny little bow of the same twine on there and I've put some of the cherry heart gems on there as well um, and just used the gorgeous ocean colour of cardstock and I think this one is it called true blue or have I said that before and it's not called true blue French blue maybe it might be French blue um, and then you can just close this mechanism again and then to do this one I've been just folding the twine in half taking maybe like four inches folding it in half and then just poking the folded piece through that tiny little hole pulling it out the bottom and then putting the two tails through the loop and then pulling it tight and I found that's quite um, an easy kind of closure for this if you don't want the recipient to have to feel like they've got to untie a bow or um, a double knot or something. It just gives a little kind of closure to it. I think it probably would just stay shut by itself without the twine on there, um, but because I'd added a little bow up here, I thought I'd just match it across there. So that's the heart one. And then I did this one, which is using some pistachio, some sea salt green, and some ginger pie cardstock. I really like this colour combination. Um, I used it on... Oh, on one of the cards I did in the tutorial video. Um, I wondered why it was fresh in my mind. It's because I just filmed that video. Um, but this has got this kind of mechanism here. So I actually used four on this again. So this obviously opens the same way as the watermelon, but I used the design that allowed you to put this little locking mechanism in there. And I actually did one above and one below. So it's really securely stuck on there. And I've done that on both sides as well. Um, and I've just mixed and matched the, the kind of colours of this. I just think it's such a, a cool little design and I really think that this could be used for so many different things. It's also making me think of uh, when I was at school, you used to be able to get, um, they probably came free with a packet of biscuits or something. They were like a little plastic sort of container. I think I feel like it had a flip thing that flipped around and you could put like three digestive biscuits in it. It's kind of reminding me of that as well as the bubblegum thing and like um, a baby bell cheese too i think this could be lots of different things you really could go to town with um turning this into things and also uh, the ladybird idea as well you could draw like um, a little black head across here have red wings do the spots on it carry the spots down the side if you want to as well and turn it into a ladybird too and um, this one i did also put some dragon scale dream drops on those little elements of the pattern and you can see here how the pattern can be all up the same way whereas if they'd only given you one panel this one would be up the other way to this side so it's really nice that they thought about that so you've got a lovely continuous uh, pattern going all the way around as well and then for this one I've just done the surprise tag I did it double sided just to make it look nice and this is, I kept it out so I knew the name sage green um, double satin ribbon in the 3mm width as well so the three millimeters are perfect for getting through the little holes um in you know these kind of locking mechanisms as well so you can either use baker's twine or three millimeter ribbon both of them work really nicely and all i did for this one is tied the uh, bow on here i feel like this one is easier for having a bow um, the one I feel like with the heart it's a little bit more fiddly because you're trying to tie it on the point of the heart whereas this one you can lay it flat and then tie your little bow it's much easier to kind of tie so there we go we've got our little surprise box there so um, those are the three boxes that I created with the, the sort of like two different box die sets but I also did cards as well so this card is the one that I show you how to create in the tutorial and the tutorial is showing you a split shaker card so these two sections have got different shaker pieces in and different colours in the background this one's got the luminous lily pad hexagons and this one's got the I can never remember the name golden acer um, leaves on this side so it's showing you how you can put foam tape down the middle and create two different wells to do um, a double shaker and I thought this die set was really nice to do it with because you've got the half pieces so you've got half is a complete little aperture and the other half I've done as a pattern um, and so I did this card first which is a hexagon version 
in a similar kind of fashion using one of the patterns um, and the, the more open area and then I decided to recreate it but using the heart version for the tutorial video so if you want to see this in full detail then check out the tutorial video which should be up tomorrow um, but yeah, I think it's a, a really nice idea for shaker cards and uh, this set, although it is supposed to make these um, split boxes, has some really lovely shapes and patterns for your card making as well. Um, just these strips as well would look fantastic, just a few of them across a card in different colours um, or some of the side panels look brilliant which I've done on a, a later card as well. But that's those two. Then I wanted to make a card that matched this box. So I haven't put a sentiment on here actually, um, but I think maybe like um, love you or miss you or something like that would work nicely on it. But I just decided to make them go together. Um, so in this one I put the colourful keys on the inside. So for this one I decided to make um, like a faux embossed background with the little white keys on the white background. And then I've used the same colours for the hearts. I actually used the other version of the hearts. And if you put the hearts close enough together you can make it look more like one continuous pattern um, as well. Rather than it being two separate half heart patterns um, you can make it look more continuous. And I did also kind of like hide the seam there um, by you know, putting a few of those beautiful cherry hearts down the centre as well. And I've used the twine on there too to tie it in with the actual box. And then the final card is using the hexagon panels, but in this same colour scheme that I did the heart boxes in. Because I really like the colour scheme. And this really shows off all of those beautiful panels for you to be able to see as well. So this gorgeous scrolly kind of... Um, I suppose it could be um, wool or something, it looks like it could be twine or rope or wool sort of intertwined or it kind of looks like that sort of plaster uh, when you use a trowel and you're putting up tiles and things. Um, this is a beautiful geometric pattern and then you've got that beautiful flourishy damasky kind of design. Again I haven't put a sentiment on this one yet, I was just sort of showing it as a, a background idea um, and when you're die cutting all of the bits and pieces for these boxes if you run through a few extra panels in whatever colour schemes you're working with you'll instantly have all of the bits and pieces ready to create a card like this. So I hope you enjoyed this up close video looking at tonic showcase number 33 which is the heart and hexagon um, split box die set and it's technically an A4 die set but I'm not sure if you're going to get it as an A4 die set or as two A5 die sets uh, but anyway it's going to be great value for money because there's so many dies in the sets that will be perfect for your card making as well and even those sentiments work really nicely for your cards too I love that just because one so uh, I'll leave any links to products and to the showcase in the description box below the video if you want to get hold of anything. And uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope you had a lovely new year because this is the first video of this year as well. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye!